No Film School's coverage of NAB 2018 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, creating revolutionary solutions for film, post-production, and television. Adorama, the world's only full-service destination for photo, video, and electronics. And My Road Reel, the world's largest, is back. Register now at myroadreel.com. Hey guys, it's Andy from No Film School at NAB 2018. We're here with L. Dean at the Sony booth here to talk about the A7 III. Talk to us. All right, so uh, recently announced, uh, we just showed this um, for the first time at uh, WPPI a month ago here in uh, Las Vegas. But here we got it set up in a video configuration. Now obviously this is that um, middle of the road camera. It was announced as uh, Sony's entry level full frame mirrorless camera mm. to compete in the DSLR market. It started shipping actually this week, which is really great. What's the price point? Price point, one triple nine, so $2,000 essentially for a full frame mirrorless camera, which is amazing. And there, we're hearing some pretty crazy things about its resolution and frame rates. Can you talk to us about that? Yeah, so as a still camera, it's a 24 megapixel camera, but shooting in 4K, it'll actually utilize the entire width of the full frame sensor with no line skipping or pixel binning. Okay. So you actually get a 6K image that's oversampled and recorded as a 4K, utilizing the full width of the sensor, which obviously gives you benefit, not only for your uh, gradation and your low light performance, but also full use of full frame lenses on the camera. Mm -hmm. In a 4K mode, it'll shoot 24 or 30p. Uh, internal, it's 4208 bit. If you go external through the HDMI to an external recorder, it's uncompressed uh, 4K. Uncompressed. It also has uh, log, so it has S-Log2, S-Log3, as well as the new HLG, which is the hybrid log gamma for instant HDR, essentially. Are you allowed to put in LUTs to preview the log footage while it does, shooting? It does have a, a LUT preview, so then while you're actually uh, viewing your image, you actually have a preview so you can see what your, close to what your end result would be as well. So we have dual card slots. This is obviously very versatile in terms of the way that you use it. So if you're shooting stills, you can do JPEG and RAW, either JPEG to one, RAW to the other one, or do dual to both. You can do video to one card and uh, still images to the other one. If you're shooting video, you could do the same video to both cards, or you can do a 4K to one card and do a, a proxy uh, MP4 720 to a second card. What are the What's the highest bit rate available for the 4K shooting? So you get it in 60 megabits per second and 100 megabits per second in either 24 or 30p. Now in HD, in XAVCS, you can go up to 120p, uh, and that's also in 60 or, or 100 megabits per second. We also included the toggle on the back so you can pick a focus point, as well as utilizing the uh, A9's focusing system. So this is 699 autofocus points, phase detection autofocus points, that cover more than 80% of the sensor coverage. So edge-to-edge -edge, uh, focus tracking, extremely fast with the phase detection. And uh, as you know, uh, mirrorless cameras are live view, so utilizing either the LCD or the electronic viewfinder. You don't get any electronic viewfinder blackout when shooting video. Mm -hmm. What kind of outputs does it take? You said it took oh, HDMI out. Is it yeah. so mini, the, micro, or full? So inputs that we have over here, we have a, uh, a micro HDMI, micro, uh, HDMI. micro USB, and then also USB 3.0, as right. well as a headphone and audio jack. So the A7 III also features what most of our other cameras feature. We have Wi-Fi with NFC, mm -hmm. so being able to connect and control the camera wirelessly using a uh, mobile app. device. Either using iPhone yeah, or so Android. Exactly, mm -hmm. iPhone or Android using the uh, free Play Memories camera app, mm -hmm. uh, as well as being able to transfer files utilizing the uh, uh, wireless uh, transfer uh, to a mobile device. How's the, how's the battery life? So battery life is 2.2 times the uh, capacity of the previous battery. We have the new Z-series battery in here. Oh, is, it, is, it, is, it a, is it a new form factor battery? It's a new form factor battery. It's so it's not backwards compatible with the, the older cameras? No. So since the A9, we came out with a Z-series battery. Uh -huh. So the Z-series is 2.2 times the capacity. Uh, this is found in the A9, the A7R Mark III, and now the A7 Mark III. Well, thank you, Aldine.